talk with you guys. I have been shopping at TJ Maxx lately. It has had me in a chill hole, you guys. I don't know what it is, but I've been going to a new one and I cannot quit TJ Maxx right now. So I've been picking up a few things for my upcoming vacation, as well as bags, you guys. They've been having some killer bags lately and these bags I think are gonna be perfect for fall. So these are a little bit of pre-fall bags and kind of end of summer vacation items. So if you wanna see what I've been loving at TJ Maxx lately, that's gonna end the video right now. Okay, so starting off, so as I did mention, I am going on a vacation soon. So I wanted to get some things for my vacation and TJ Maxx has been a smash lately. So starting out with one of my favorite finds is this dress from House of Harlow. It is this knit number, you guys, so beautiful. I think that's gonna be perfect for my vacation. I'm going on a cruise, so I feel like the blue and white just kind of give like a the sailing cruise kind of vibe. So I love this for the cruise, really great knit material. Love how it falls on the body. Like when you're shopping at TJ Maxx, I always like to make sure that I'm examining each item because you know so many people try them on. A lot of the times they can be stretched out or have be damaged and stuff like that. So this is a really great quality isn't stretched out, fits me like a glove. So I really, really love this and I can't wait to dress this up for dinner one night on vacation. I did get it for $34.99 and I know it was way more probably on their website. TJ Maxx is my form of like thrifting. I love going in there and trying to find and hunt down the really good brands that would be really expensive in other stores and get them for a fraction of the price. So that's why I will never stop shopping at TJ Maxx. Moving on is another kind of knit item. It's actually crochet. It's this maxi skirt. I love this maxi skirt. And what I really feel like elevates this skirt is the draw. Okay, so my camera cut off. I'm not sure where it stops. So I'll just start back with this piece. This maxi skirt is from the brand Solitaire. I got it for $24.99. What I love about this skirt and what I really feel like makes it a little bit elevated is the drawstring. You can really cinch in that waist and kind of really form it to fit your body, so I really love that about it. I think this, again, would be perfect for an evening look on vacation, and just really beachy. Love this. Okay, so I'm sorry if the lighting is changing. The sun is behind our cloud now, but we're gonna keep going. Next, this little tank from Solid and Striped, you guys. I love this brand for swimwear, cover-ups, anything like that. It's typically really, really pricey, but I found it at TJ Maxx. This little tank originally on their website, it's called the Carson Tank. It was $138. Um, then TJ Maxx had it for $29.99. I paid $24 for this. So, and I love that I got it for that much. Just super cute to throw over a white bathing suit. You know, again, for vacation, you can't go wrong with all these kind of crochet knit items. Next from that same brand is one of my favorite things from this haul. Is this a little pink and orange kind of like checkered mini dress, you guys? Are you kidding? Like, it has these really thin straps on the back. Super cute, halter dress. It is so nice. I loved it when I tried it on. I feel like it's a little bit, my torso is a little bit short for it, but I feel like it's nothing a little bit of fashion tape can't handle. I should be trying everything on on the side for you. But yes, yeah, I love this. And I was stunned when I saw the price. So originally, Solid and Stripes had this priced for $248. Then TJ Maxx had it for $24.99. And then I got it for $20, you guys. $20, this dress, $20. Like, I cannot believe it. I love this brand and I know that I'm gonna love this. Next, I found these shorts with these adorable like cherries all over them. You guys, this is so cute. This actually looks like a skirt, but it's actually shorts, which would be really cute with a bathing suit. I thought I'd pair this with a red bathing suit and just go about my day. I print is giving tropical, and that's what we like. Really fun, really flirty, really easy to move in. So I picked these up. These were $12.99. I thought this was perfect for our swimsuit cover up. Guys, I think it's about to rain. I don't know what's going on. It was just sunshiny. But don't worry, we're almost done. 
Next, you guys, we have something from one of my favorite brands. I was like screaming when I saw this in the store. It is this black kind of shimmery material, black knit maxi dress by Ronnie Kobo. So, so nice, you guys. It has this kind of sheer area here in the like bodice, but of course the boobs are covered. So nice, a little bit of an open back in the back with a nice tie. You guys, I love this brand. Such good quality, and I could not believe I found this. This dress, it doesn't say that it's original price, but I already know it was way more than what I was paying for it. I got it for 60 bucks, fits like a glove, probably my best find. Okay guys, next thing I picked up was this pack of scrunchies by the brand Sunday State. I am wearing one today, you guys, just to throw a little something in the hair. You know, when I want a little something extra, and I was like envisioning it with this outfit here in particular. And so when I was in TJ Maxx, I happened to see that pack and I picked it up. So I think it really goes cute with my outfit today. What do you think? The first that I saw was this Bottega inspired kind of big satchel bag, you guys. These bags are everywhere. I know a lot of brands are making Bottega inspired bags like this. I know Target has one. I know Anthropology has one. Amazon has a ton of them. So I picked this one up from TJ Maxx. I wanted to give a go. I can tell it's not the best, 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 best quality. I did pay 40 bucks for it. So I felt like I would try the style for an inexpensive price and see if I like it. And then if I do like it, maybe I'll invest. We're starting, we're starting off at TJ Maxx to see if I even like the style. And then if I do, maybe I'll invest a little bit more for next fall. But I think this would be perfect with like knee high boots, leggings, a white button down, right? And then this on your shoulder, and then just like the long hair, lightly curled, it's fall time, you're going outside with your friends, you're going to meet someone for lunch or something like that, really cute. Next bag I wanna mention is, kind of like a throwback, but a really good one, if you know what I mean? It is this bag by True Religion. Who remembers True Religion, guys? We were all about the True Religion jeans back in the day. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, this could be really cute. And in True Religion and TJ Maxx, they've been having a lot of bags lately. I've seen mini ones, I've seen medium-sized ones, I've seen large ones. This, when I saw this one, I was particularly drawn to this one because I felt like it could be a really nice travel bag, right? I instantly envisioned wearing this with a white mini dress, like a mini dress with boots, maybe a hat. And I've also envisioned other outfits since getting in. So I can't wait to style this up for fall. It's definitely gonna be a fall bag for me. Okay, next bag I thought was just so chic when I saw it. I immediately knew I wanted to style it up for fall. Even in the summer, I was like with like an all white outfit, but this suede kind of like taupey, slouchy, row inspired bag, I love this. I feel like this is something a designer brand like The Row would design and put out in their line. I love it. I got it for $39.99. It's by the brand Hot Hippie. Yeah, it's definitely giving those hobo hippie vibes, but I, again, love it. And I felt like it's the perfect color. It's gonna go with a ton of things, and with an all-white like winter outfit, you cannot go wrong. And accessories are what makes an outfit. You can have a basic outfit. Like, I only wanted to pair this with linen pants and a white crop top, but this was going to sell this outfit, honey. I had already like envisioned it. I loved this. I wanted to pick this up for my fall wardrobe. Next from the brand Theory, I have this plain ribbed, really good quality tee. I love picking up things like this when I can get them on sale. Theory is a fabulous brand, and I know they make really good quality things that will last me, so I really wanted a good black tee that I could pair with a ton of outfits this fall, so I picked this one up. Theory, let's see if they have their original price on here. Yes, this tee was $120. I picked it up for $34.99. So again, why I love going to TJ Maxx and kind of looking for those good brands because these brands are gonna last you so many years and you're getting it for such a great price. Next, I have this maxi skirt from Rachel Zoe. I love this when I saw it initially because I was like, it's giving vacation. I immediately thought about a bathing suit cover up, throwing this on and a white bikini top and just running around on vacation day to day, doing whatever with the kids. And I thought it was gonna be perfect. When I got it and I kind of like unbuttoned it, I, I didn't like that it had this like little piece here in the front 
um, on the side of the buttons where the buttons connect, I feel like it downgrades the piece. It really devalues it, declasses it, if you will, um, and it just kind of took away from it. These types of details are things that I look for and I will return an item for. I'm gonna probably end up returning this because I just didn't feel like it was as special with that little piece right there. It was giving a little bit basic and I didn't like that. So I loved it initially. I thought it could be really cute, but I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think. Should I return it or is it fire and yeah, I should keep it even though it has those, you know, that little piece there. Next, I have a classic button up from the brand Philosophy. Really great, nice quality, just staple for fall. I love this, I knew I was gonna need one and I really like the brand Philosophy. I got it for 20 bucks. Philosophy initially had this button down for $68, so again, a steal. And I feel like you can never have enough of these and I wear them so much during the fall over leggings under things, you know, just for anything really. So I want to pick up a fresh one for the new season coming up. And lastly, to end this little haul, this little tee from House of Harlow. It's this kind of like see-through, kind of like, what do you call this? Where it has like little bubbles. But it's like a little, that material, if you know what I mean. Kind of like those shirts that we used to have back in the day. But yeah, like that little popcorn type of material. Really nice material though. You can tell it's a lot more high quality than what we used to have back in the day. But I thought this would just be great for fall outfits to pair with like wide leg jeans and a boot or like a pointed toe pump or something. Just giving stylish but also conservative with a nice like bralette under there. It could be really, really chic. Yes guys, that concludes my haul. So that's it you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. I hope you enjoyed this and kind of got a peek into what I'm into right now, what I'm looking for for fall and what I'm buying right now. I will be purchasing more things for fall as we get closer. So if you want more hauls, leave me a comment down below letting me know you would like more hauls. If you have any questions about any of these items, let me know down below. Let me know which piece was your favorite and I'll see you soon.